Welcome back, everyone. Well, of course, heater allergy season is, well, it's, hopefully it's been peaking, but it's still out there. And of course, oak season's right behind that. Rodeo's gonna kick up all that dust and everything. Now the good news, there is relief in sight. Joining us today, American Sinus Institute patient William Weekly and physician's assistant Katrina Zidane to talk about balloon sinoplasty, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, what basically is this? So balloon sinoplasty is a very minimally invasive procedure that we do on our patients that suffer chronically from sinus issues. It just allows people to be able to, the sinuses for, to drain and to breathe normally. So this is different than just, you know, when you've got, okay, maybe a little bit of runny nose, something like that, but, it, but it's more right. severe, I guess? Right, right, exactly. So it's more sinus pain and sinus pressure and, and frequent sinus infections that people are getting as a result from it, allergies. And, and and this was basically your story, right? Well, I, I've had sinus problems all of my life, but this was an outgrowth of me not being able to tolerate a CPAP machine. And uh, my dentist suggested that uh, I go through this procedure, so I went over to their facility and uh, they did some tests and I did the procedure. It was absolutely painless and it was 100% right on for me. And you feel just like a whole new person basically. It's, it's done, right? it's, it allows me to tolerate the CPAP machine. So how do you know, and here's some video of this going on, and it's actually a little balloon that goes up into, because you've got what, three different sinus cavities in you, your head or you've, something? You've got two in the frontals up in the forehead. You've got the maxillaries, which are the, the cheek area. You've got the ethmoid cells, and of course the sphenoids in the back. And we balloon the frontals, the maxillaries, and the sphenoids. So so it, it's what, inflammation that gets going up in there or something? So basically you have a door for each sinus. So the way I explain it to my patient is think of the sinuses as being rooms and each room has a door. Well the doors are closed and so when the door is closed, just like when you can't breathe, the sinuses feels miserable and they can't breathe if the door is closed. So you need that door open to allow for sinus to breathe and drain. Okay, so now that you've had this done, like I said, you're just a whole new person, right? And do you still have the CPAP machine? Do you still have to take some medication? I still use the machine, but I'm okay. able to tolerate it so I can actually get the full benefits from the machine. About how long does the procedure last? About 20 minutes or so. It's and then very as soon as you wake up, you're it's pretty much... How would you feel right after? I had zero difficulty. Okay, and because you said some people that have done this at other places haven't been so lucky, but here you just... Someone in my corpus office had a similar procedure. I think it's the exact procedure, but not done here in San Antonio. They did it in corpus, and they were not near as... They, they had a little more pain than I okay. did. So you're, you're sold, right? I'm sold. Okay, and insurance, uh, most insurance covered? Most are insurance, yep, most, most are covered. Okay, well if you'd like more information about American Sinus Institute, give them a call at 210-225-5666 or visit their website, americansinus.com.